point from the Somerdale Church of Christ. You can probably hear on the roof of the car the rain that's coming down. Uh, we're out uh, doing a little errands and a little shopping today and uh, it started raining and every time it rains you know I love clouds, I love rain, I love the windshield wipers in the rain. In fact they, my grandma and grandpa said I used to call them the whip laps and they would play the whip laps. Even when it wasn't raining they could put me in the car and I would fall asleep. Don't worry I don't fall asleep while driving. But whenever it rains, I look forward to the clouds and the rain and, and the sound. But the most important part is when the rain ends, sometimes there's a rainbow. It's sad that in our culture, there's one demographic of people that has actually tried to rob us of that joy and blessing of the rainbow in the cloud. But we're reminded in Genesis chapter 6 when God asked Noah to build an ark. He gave him that command to do it a certain way. Noah saved his family from that giant flood. And there's a warning that's given to the people that they do not obey. And then there's the rainbow that's placed in the sky at the very end of that story uh, for the necessity of showing humanity that God will never flood the earth again. There will be destruction, there will be fire at the final day of judgment. But he says, I'm never gonna do this again. So it reminds us of Noah's Ark and the rain, that, that one experience. But it also reminds us every time we see the rainbow that God is going to send Jesus back again. There is going to be a second coming. So it is an idea of an expression of a covenant, but also a reminder that judgment is coming. And so I hope that you'll think about that when you see the rainbows and recognize that God is always going to keep his promise. And I hope it is a blessing to you. Thanks for tuning in to On Point. Through the